Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabby if you are new here and today's video is going to be a current favorite, everything that I've been loving recently and that I want to share with you. I am a Lululemon educator so I do have some Lululemon things in here as well. I will have everything linked down below in the description as well so be sure to check that out in case you're interested in anything I mention in this video. But if you want to know what I've been loving recently then just keep on watching. All right, I figured I would start off with some beauty favorites, some skincare and other items that I've been loving. So the first one I have here is this Say Beauty Powder. This I picked up during the Sephora sale and this is the Airset Translucent Medium Radiant Loose Setting Powder. And honestly, I have been really, really enjoying this to set under my eyes. I'll use my Beauty Blender sponge. So I'll like set my face with some setting spray and then go in with this and set it. And I feel like it really erases any like texture and fine lines and sets my makeup really nicely. So I've actually really been loving this. This is my first loose powder ever really. So I'm glad that I've had a good experience so far with it, but highly recommend checking this one out if you haven't already. The next thing I have here is more skincare related, and this is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I've heard so, so many things about this on TikTok, YouTube, and I feel like it's definitely very hyped up. It is a little pricey, I will say that. However, I feel like this jar does last you a fairly long time. I love that it comes with a little mini spoon to take the cleansing balm out of the container as I feel like dipping your fingers in there can get a little messy and maybe not the most sanitary. But honestly, this stuff smells so, so good. I got this a couple months ago and I'm probably about maybe halfway through the container but I love the way this smells. Kind of smells like lime Tums, if you know what I mean, but like in a good way. I don't know, I really love the smell of it. It's very fresh, kind of floral and fruity, and I feel like it does a really great job of getting my makeup off, especially in the summertime when I'm wearing a lot more like sunscreen as well. Just getting all of that residue off of my face and making sure it's clean for at night, and I feel like that's really been helping like wash my face as well. So I've been absolutely loving the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Cleansing Balm. I highly recommend trying it out if you haven't already, but I'm sure a lot of people already know about this as it's a super popular item. The next couple of beauty items I have here are both liquid and cream blushes. Okay, the first one here is from Merit Beauty and it is the Cheeky Cheek Color. No, what is this? This is their Flush Balm Cheek Blush. It is more of a kind of stick blush and creamy formula. This is in the color Cheeky, which is described as a cool pink tone. Honestly, I have been obsessed with this. It is so easy to take traveling with you because it counts as a solid as well. And you, I just add some to my cheeks and blend it out with a beauty blender. And I feel like it blends really nicely and gives it a nice like soft natural flush to the skin. They sent this to me a while ago as a PR package. And honestly, I have been really obsessed with these products. I think my favorite might be the blush from them. So I highly, highly recommend checking these out. I think it's a great, like easily blendable blush. And if you're just starting to get into like cream blushes and stuff like that, I think this one is really easy to use. It's definitely buildable if you want a little bit more, but I think it blends out really nicely and easily as well. Okay, and because I love that one so much, I really wanted to try a liquid blush. So I got the Rare Beauty. This is the Soft Pinch liquid blush in the color hope honestly this one is definitely a little bit more tricky to use they are not kidding when a little bit goes a long way but i think this is just the most pretty like kind of cooler tone pink again type of color i'm super super pigmented on it this is a little bit of a newer item to me but since i've got it i've gotten a lot of wear out of it and again i feel like it gives that nice kind of flush to the skin it is super pigmented so i always just use a small dab on each cheek and then again blend that out with a beauty blender and then go in with that setting powder and I feel like it just gives a really natural flush to the skin so I'm very excited to try this out as well for summer just as you know it gets hotter out maybe sweating a little bit more I think this would add like a nice dewiness to the skin 
without being like a powdered blush and like kind of caking or crumpling. So I have been obsessed with this so far and I hope to continue to use it throughout the summer. Okay, and the last beauty related favorite that I have for you is this replica beach walk perfume. Honestly, I have been obsessed with the smell of this perfume since I got it. It smells like summer to me. It is the perfect, like, very summery, airy perfume. It smells like sunscreen, the beach, you know, sandy vibes. Absolutely love it. I've been obsessed. This is just the small little version of it. Sadly, this doesn't come with, like, a lid or anything, which I would say this is the only downside to this product. Otherwise, it is so, so good. Here is what the little bottle looks like. Very aesthetic as well. So love the packaging to this. Highly recommend checking this out if you love kind of, like, summery, beachy vibes. This is 10 out of 10 chef's kiss. I would say I do have to like make sure that I like lotion the area before I apply it. And I feel like that helps it stay on longer because maybe this isn't the longest wearing perfume, but maybe it's just like the small version. Cause I feel like when I wore, like tested it out in store with the larger bottle, it stayed on forever. So I don't know if you have any tips on how to make perfume last longer, then let me know down below but I've been absolutely obsessed with this, so definitely check that out. Okay, next moving on to some fashion favorites. First, we of course have to start out with some Lululemon items. So the first one I have for you here are the Hottie Hot Shorts. This is in the color Electric Turquoise, which is one of my favorite colors in my Hottie Hot Shorts. I get a size two, and these are the high rise four inch ones. Now, most of my collection is actually the two and a half short. However, I've really been falling in love with the four inch version instead. I just feel like the length on these ones is really nice for days that I want to be, you know, a little bit more covered up and stuff like that. And I just feel like the four inches are maybe a little bit more comfy as well. I don't know if it's something to do with like the length of them and then the liner inside. It just feels like comfier to wear for a longer period of time or the two and a half ones, I feel like I have to adjust here and there every so often, but again, they're like still comfy, but I have been actually surprisingly liking the four inches better and I decided to pick these ones up because they didn't have the two and a half yet when these ones released. So I just got the four and said, oh, it's fine. And actually I've been shockingly surprised that I like these ones more and maybe reach for them a little bit more than my two and a half, I would say. I don't know if it's the color or the style, maybe a little bit of both, but the Hottie Hot four inch shorts are definitely one of my go-to summer staples right now. And I can't wait to get more wear out of these. The next Lululemon item I have for you here is the All Yours Crop Tee. Honestly, I have been obsessed with these since I started collecting them. I first got the white opal color and then I got a lot of wear out of it, surprisingly. So I had to pick up a few more. So now I have four in my collection, but I think my favorite out of them is still the Wild Mint. This is an absolutely gorgeous color for the summertime. It is the perfect like casual little layer to throw on over like a swimsuit, a sports bra, anything like that for like a light summer layer. I think it's just so flattering. I do get a size two in these where my normal all yours tees are a size zero, but I feel like because these ones are so cropped, I liked the little bit of extra length to it. It's not huge, but again, with the cropped length, I don't feel like it's so oversized that it's like totally taking over my body. So I do really, really love the All Yours Crop Tees. It's a nice, soft, cottony fabric. Highly recommend checking them out, but I have raspberry cream, white opal, wild mint, and sonic pink in them. Looking forward to seeing what other colors they might come out with in these t-shirts before the summer ends, but I think even after summer, you can still get a lot of wear out of them for like a little workout kind of cover-up type thing. If you're like doing a lifting day, strength day, something like that. So highly recommend checking those out. The next couple of fashion pieces aren't Lululemon related, but I I've been absolutely obsessed with them. The first one here is this Lazy Pants hoodie. This is part of their air fleece line, so it is a nice lightweight type of fleece fabric. Perfect for summer nights, traveling, road trips, um, just a lighter layer as well if it's more of a rainy day, something like that. And I've been obsessed and living in mine, to be honest. This is like kind of the gray, 
color. I'm not 100% sure what the exact color is, but I'll leave a link to it down below. And you can also use the code Gabby20 for 20% off. I absolutely love the fit of this hoodie. It is like a classic, slightly oversized hoodie, but not like too boxy, which I really, really like. I love the flattering shape of it. It has these cute little details of their logo down here in the bottom. And yeah, I've been absolutely obsessed living in this hoodie, wearing it every chance that I get. And maybe I should pick up another couple so that I don't wear this one out completely because I have been obsessed. And the last fashion favorite are these new sandals. I just picked these up recently as well, but I've been wearing them almost every single day. They're just such an easy, like throw on casual summer sandal. And I don't know about you, but I feel like there's no better feeling than getting new shoes. And I know sometimes there can be a break in period for them, but honestly for me, I just love that these ones aren't worn in to basically non-existence. And it has a little bit more support that I probably need for my feet. So I've been obsessed with wearing these everywhere I go, grocery store, out for errands, to work, anything like that. These have been my go-to shoes. Again, probably should get a second pair so I don't wear them out, but I have absolutely been loving some summer casual sandals. Okay, moving into some lifestyle favorites. The first one I have here is this Aroma Lou from Sage. This is just a bathroom spray, but I think this one smells really good actually. I mean, obviously it's gonna smell better than whatever you're doing in the bathroom. But as like a bathroom spray, I really love the way that this one smells because it does have essential oils in it. So this one has peppermint, lavender, spearmint, eucalyptus, sage, and tea tree. I also really like spraying this, like when you start the shower, it kind of starts to steam up a little, giving this a little bit of spray in the bathroom kind of just makes it smell more like a spa which I really have been enjoying so I don't necessarily use this as much as a bathroom spray for that purpose but as a bathroom spray to kind of make my showers a little bit more luxury so it is a little bit more pricey but I definitely like it when I'm having a nice shower and just it makes it feel so much more relaxing and refreshing the next favorite that I've been using constantly is my Yeti cup. Now, if you know, you know, the TikTok Utah girl Stanley Rambler thing has absolutely blown up in the last, I don't know, couple months, I think it was. But living in Canada, we don't have Stanley tumblers that are very accessible. Sometimes they pop up on like Williams Sonoma or Urban Outfitters, something like that, that you can order through, but again, happens seldomly so I just went ahead and picked up a Yeti instead because I wasn't really sure what the hype is about the Stanley Cup anyways and I feel like this one works just fine so this is the one with the like kind of straw lid I didn't opt for the one with like the sip cup lid because I just wanted it for like ice drinks anyways and honestly it's kept my drinks very very cold and I think it's like a great like cup to motivate me to drink more water as well so I've been using this for hotter days I guess and I feel like it's just a little bit easier to drink more water because of the straw you don't have to like undo a water bottle lid and like do it back up I just you know it's easy to just drink water but my favorite drink recently to be putting in here is a limeade so so basically I just have like a lemonade mix and then I put a couple pumps of this Torani lime syrup into it and oh my gosh it tastes so good so refreshing for summer I definitely have to stop myself from drinking it too much because that's not good for you too much sugar as a nice treat I think that this I don't know fruit syrup adds like a nice fun element to just plain lemonade and again in the Stanley Cup keeps it nice and cold for the summertime. So I like taking it outside with me if I'm going on a walk or just having a picnic, something like that. Very refreshing. So that's my favorite drink currently to put in my Yeti cup other than water. And for my final favorite would be one show on Netflix, which is Stranger Things. They recently just came out with season four and I basically watched all of the episodes in 
two days when they came out. Honestly, it was a fantastic show. I was feeling really skeptical when I watched the trailers because it's been so long between seasons, but I don't know. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought the acting was so good in it. So I was really pleased with the whole season and I'll probably watch it again just to see the whole start to finish kind of thing. Let me know down below your recommendations for any new Netflix shows because I'm gonna need something to watch now. That, I think that's all of my favorites currently. Let me know yours down below in the comments as well. Anything I should be trying and incorporating into maybe my next favorites video. But if you enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. And with that, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!